Every bird in a flock or every fish in a school may look the same to us, but just as no two people are exactly alike, individuals within all species vary. Every day we see people who vary in ways that are easy to see, like our shapes and sizes. We also vary in ways that are less obvious, like personality, susceptibility to disease, and ability to tolerate certain types of food. Individuals in other species differ from each other too, often even more so than humans. And whether you're looking at people, birds, or maple trees, diversity within a population begins with DNA. Written in the four letters of the DNA alphabet, genes code for proteins and other molecules that make up the body and carry out its functions. Genes come in multiple versions with slightly different DNA sequences. Each version functions a little differently. For example, two versions of the same gene can produce either brown or blue eyes. These genetic variations are the basis of diversity within a population. Mutation is the primary source of variation for all life forms, from bacteria to humans to the giant sequoia. Mutations are like typos in the DNA copying process. Common mutations involve miscopying a DNA letter, inserting an extra letter, or skipping a letter. Some mutations involve duplicating, deleting, or moving larger chunks of DNA. Mutations that happen during egg and sperm cell formation are passed along to offspring. Mutations are actually quite common. You have dozens of mutations that were not present in your parents. Mutations occur at random throughout the genome. In coding regions, mutations can change the function of a protein. In control regions, called switches, mutations can change the timing, location, and level of gene activation. Whether a mutation conveys an advantage, a disadvantage, or is neutral depends on the organism's environment. Imagine two different versions of a gene that produce dark or light skin. In a warm, sunny environment near the equator, dark skin would be an advantage because it protects against sun damage and skin cancer. However, because dark skin produces vitamin D less efficiently, light skin would be an advantage in less sunny environments far from the equator. Similar factors were at play during human evolution. Our ancient African ancestors had brown skin genes, but in some groups that migrated to colder climates, nature favored gene variations that produced lighter skin. In the modern world, dark and light skin function equally well. We use clothing and sunscreen to protect us from the sun, and we add synthetic vitamin D to our milk and our multivitamins. Like most characteristics, skin color is actually controlled by multiple genes. Thanks to mutation, there are different versions of each gene. A second source of variation, known as recombination, shuffles our genes during reproduction to create new gene combinations. Together, mutation and recombination involving at least 10 genes have generated a continuous spectrum of skin shades. Some of the same genes that determine skin and hair color in people also produce a variety of fur, feather, and scale shades in animals. Recombination also contributes to our diverse body shapes and sizes, and even our susceptibility to diseases. In organisms that reproduce sexually, recombination happens during egg and sperm production. Genes are shuffled through the processes of crossing over and assortment. Although it's less frequent, recombination also occurs in organisms that reproduce asexually. Bacteria and archaea, for example, exchange genetic information through lateral gene transfer. 
The random processes of mutation and recombination create variation. The non-random process of natural selection acts on this variation. Selection ensures that favorable variations pass to the next generation and that harmful mutations and unfavorable gene combinations are eliminated. Together, variation and selection enable populations to shift over time in response to the changing world.